Hi folks, uh, this is Dr. Akash Kapadia. I'm a urologist and a male fertility specialist in Atlanta, Georgia. Um, in this uh, series of short videos, uh, we're going to be talking about testicular mapping or FNA mapping uh, for a condition called azoospermia. So testicular mapping is an advanced uh, fertility procedure that is performed uh, on men that have a diagnosis uh, of azoospermia. Um, now, very few specialists uh, uh, around the country perform this procedure. Uh, and so in order for us to understand what testicular mapping is, let's first start with the topic of azoospermia. Azoospermia means the finding of no sperm in a man's semen on a semen analysis. This is found to be the case in about 1% of all men and in about 10 to 15% of males with a known fertility issue. So why would there be no sperm in a man's semen? Here I like to use the analogy of a manufacturing factory. The male testicles are responsible for the production or manufacturing of sperm, whereas the vas deferens and the ejaculatory ducts um, are the pipeline through which the sperm is delivered or transported in a man's ejaculation. Now that we understand azoospermia, let's assume that a man has non-obstructive azoospermia, in other words, a production issue within the testicles. Historically, uh, patients with this condition would undergo uh, a procedure called a simple testicular biopsy or extraction, and this is used to find sperm. The problem with this technique is that it's an incomplete evaluation of the testicles and ultimately results in failure of finding sperm in most cases. In modern times, a patient with this condition would be advised to undergo a surgery called microdissection testicular sperm extraction, or a microtessy. A microtessy is an advanced surgical procedure um, that is used to identify sperm uh, in men with azoospermia. This procedure is first described by Dr. Peter Schlegel in 1999 um, and has the highest rate of success in finding sperm. The disadvantages of this uh, surgery uh, include uh, the fact that it's uh, quite invasive and quite expensive and still only results in a 50-50 chance of finding sperm. So around the same time in 1997, Dr. Paul Turek popularized um, an elegant procedure called testicular mapping or FNA mapping uh, in order to provide a more complete evaluation of the testicles compared to a simple biopsy while also remaining minimally invasive um, and affordable. Now, most published results um, show outcomes of testicular mapping to be very similar uh, to the results of microtessy. In its most modern iteration, testicular mapping or FNA mapping involves multiple fine needle aspiration samples uh, from each of the testes. Uh, this is usually about 12 or more uh, from each testicle. Uh, these very small samples are then transferred to, ind to individual microscope slides and then fixed in place uh, to be studied at a later time. Uh, the procedure takes about 30 minutes, uh, so it's uh, very quick. Uh, and this can usually be performed with uh, the patient awake or under light sedation. The recovery from this procedure is also very, very quick, uh, as it does not involve any cuts or stitches um, uh, at all. Um, these slides that we prepared are then um, studied by highly skilled andrologists or cytologists. And what they're doing is they're looking for a presence of any sperm on every single one of those slides. Recovery after the mapping procedure is very rapid. Uh, most patients will usually just uh, take a Tylenol or two uh, after the procedure for, for one or two days. Uh, most patients are back to work um, in one to two days um, as well. Uh, what happens is uh, now our andrologist will study these slides in great detail uh, and then will generate a mapping report um, showing us the findings. For example, if you have sperm present in many areas of the testicles, then you may qualify for a simple uh, sperm extraction procedure with a high likelihood of success. If you have very few sperm in very few areas of uh, the testicles, well, this map helps us perform a targeted micro testing procedure in order to find the sperm and carries a high likelihood of success as well. Finally, if you have no sperm in any of the areas of the testicle, well, the map has then helped you avoid a very invasive and costly microtessy surgery. In summary, the analogy I can provide is that when you're looking for a needle in a haystack, well, it really helps to know exactly where that needle is. And that's exactly what the, the testicular mapping procedure allows us to do. In order to learn more about testicular mapping for consultation or to see if you qualify for this procedure, you can reach my office at the provided number or reach me at kapadiamd.com. Thank you.